Hey everybody, Mark Galloway here. Welcome to Wildwood. For the first time in three years, since 2020, when COVID-19 hit, we're now back in Wildwood, New Jersey. But, and I'm gonna be optimistic about this year's event, but unfortunately, the monster truck show this year is gonna be a little bit different because for one, it's gonna be a six truck field, not an eight truck field, unless something unexpected happened. And uh, most likely the track, from what I was told, it's not very, it's probably not gonna be a uh, S-style track that they usually do. So it might be a straight line, it might be a Chicago style, who knows? But yeah, so happy to be back here in Wildwood. First came here back in 2011 when it was the last year that Monster Jam ever allowed their trucks to go on the indie scene. I was here when Spider-Man and Gravedigger were at their last show over here. I was here when Scott Hartsock was still competing in Wildwood. I was here when Maxi Broadus won King of the Beach before he passed away. I was here when uh, Bigfoot and Snakebite and all those other good guys were here. I have a big history here in Wildwood, but now things are going to be a little bit different. So it's overcast. Oh, there's the water park over there. If I'm able to come here during the summertime, hopefully I can go over there. But, um, but yeah, water park's closed now. But I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna make the best of this trip while I'm here. And oh, and also this is where Dee Dee, before I got my license, Dee Dee, or my great grandmother, Patricia Morrissey, she brought me here to Wildwood. We saw the shows together, we had a great time. And, uh, this is where I kind of persuade her to ride a truck. And uh, I mean, she liked it, but it was too rough for her. She can't go, it. she can't do it again. She couldn't do it again, but yeah. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the boardwalk. We're gonna take a little walk along. Look at this water tower right here. And here we are guys. This is the facility where the trucks are gonna be competing. So right here we have like a setup for what's going to be the ride truck very likely and also from what i see right over there there is the tabletop and so from what i'm able to make out it does seem like they will actually still do the traditional s style and uh look at the waves on the beach and they have a new setup oh by the way some of the stores are closed which is pretty unfortunate oh look at this the blockbuster sign good times I wonder if that means that there's a blockbuster right here. I got. I would have to see for myself when the weather's good. Uh, but right here, right over there, you can see that rampway. It's gonna be. Uh, that's actually gonna be where the entrance is gonna be. You can see that there's tarp, tarp along the way, which is probably where the probably where the boardwalk's gonna be. Well, not this boardwalk, but it's gonna be like a different entrance. You can see that uh, I think that's where gonna that's where the ride truck tickets are gonna be sold. And that's actually gonna be the food bar or our merchandise stand. You can see right here the rampway. I'm not gonna go wait, what's that? Is that tarp? I don't think so. I think it's just gonna be a walkway being developed. But yeah, this is basically like newly built. I haven't been here in three years, like I said, so there's probably gonna be new stuff that I haven't seen before. So right here we have uh, a stairway walking to the beach. And this that, that's actually for people with wheelchairs and all, and probably every, anyone quite frankly. And look at there is a big beach chair. And look at this, that, like every time when you come here in the night, you would see this amusement park in action. Though I doubt, like from what we see here on this weather being overcast and such, it's not raining exactly, but it's just kind of kind of drizzling in in one way. And yeah, as you see right here, not even um, not even some of these snack bars are open. It's probably either because of the weather, or it's because that it's not the proper time. So I'm gonna be walking along this boardwalk until something interesting comes up. So there's still a good amount of food bars that are open. 
but you know most of them are selling the same stuff that i'm seeing that i'm interested in but i'm gonna try not to eat so much because for one oh, there is the a signing event going on at the pr crest and um they're gonna be having i don't know a free food buffet or something good down there but i might get one or two things at a couple of these places not to mention i want to be careful on what i spend right now but yeah this is where we're at right now but now i'm gonna walk down the opposite place you can see that even the aquarium uh one particular mini golf place and a couple of the other food bars are not even open so that's very unfortunate i forgot to mention that sometimes the food can be pretty expensive one medium beverage or small beverage small good bucket of fries 20 bucks so you gotta make the most of it when you can and hey, look at that isn't that megalodon and we have a mr beast sweater so gotta walk along the opposite side of the boardwalk right now that candy shop right there i'll probably check out in, probably a little later but i just want to see what the what it's like right now on the opposite side of the boardwalk right, right at least right where i'm going look at all these places closed right now I'm, I do wonder, like, if it's mainly because of the weather. Oh, oh people are bikes are coming and going. <laughs> no worries. You guys are everywhere. Yes, we are. <laughs> it's time you, man. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Nice people. Um, but yeah, lots of places. Lots of places are closed right now. I do like to hope that. Uh, well, this one's kind of questionable. I, I do wonder that. So I do wonder that, like, if it's because of like the weather right now, or if it's mainly the summer where everything everything is open. I would be doing everything possible right now. We're now about to. There's a convention center right up there. That's where some live WWE shows took place. Lots of things happened down there. But yeah, this stuff. Oh, also, that's actually the place where, like, when there's no monster truck events, they would have ride trucks go down there to give rides to people but yeah and uh some more it's mainly right now just gift shops and oh there's a smoothie shake that's open eats and sweets but yeah that's where we're at oh look at this some old abandoned bicycle left right here and the size of the beach just way open yeah of people uh, just as i was starting to record these people that i walked that passed by me earlier just came back around deja vu i guess they just went went around the uh, ramp and then um came back just came back where they came from <laughs> but yeah uh so right here is the convention center here in wildwood it's also the size of a small arena this is where they had live wwe shows and this is also where they have car shows and conventions and all that stuff and look at all these birds just flocking around and uh when I, when i first came to wildwood we actually stayed at one hotel that's further down there but thank god i started going to hotels that are down there which is a walk away and so i'm just gonna see right now what the pr crest is all about which is is said where the signatures are supposed to take place and here's a little bit of a wide open angle of the city this sure is some city if it was sunny right now i bet we'd be having a better day right now i do believe that like um this convention center as far as i remember of its history has never done like a, co a cosplay con or something like that like the bigger conventions could do weeb con and comic con well comic con is the biggest one but yeah i don't know if you guys know anything about like if a cosplay con was held at this convention let me know in the comments below but look at this wide open view of the beach so many acres this this beach would be filled with people if it was the summer so the crest pier is actually well by car it's three minutes away and uh it's down right here but right here we have the iconic wildwood sign so i'm gonna actually go right down here get a picture and let me just get give you guys a quick view of what this is like this is like when you enter the boardwalk i think this is basically like the main entrance of the boardwalk 
Look at this. And these uh, custom statue street balls. They're not real beach balls. So I hope you got that in mind. Yep, there's a sign. I'm going to walk a little bit further down. And there it is. There's a sign. Beautiful as it is. Well, look who I just ran into walking down the street from here. See this tractor trailer? I looked to my left. There's Plain Hooky, JRC Sock. I'm not going to really bother him too much. I know he has stuff to do right now, but there he is, Plain Hooky. You can see the rims right here. They're after, they're actually the remnants because this is the cold blooded monster truck. Originally one of the Hurricane Force chassis. What a coincidence. Well, here we are. This is the the crest, the crease, the crest pier. And this is actually where they're gonna be signing the autographs tonight. And I'm not gonna be wearing my hashtag more crush stuff tonight. I'm gonna be doing that at the events. But tonight I'm just gonna come as myself. This is just uh, where they're gonna do like a pre-event autographs tonight. And what, from what I looked up on the website, they're not gonna do it until six, which is good because I have a, plenty of time left. I'll probably explore the boardwalk a lot more, see what happens going along there. Probably go to the candy shop, probably go to one of the diners, and uh, and that's that. And then uh, I'll probably go to the hotel and chill for a little while until it's around five o'clock, 5.30. And then that's when I'll come over here. It's only about a, like about 25 minute walk from my motel. But this is where it's gonna be. So now it's time to go on back. Look at this hotel, the American Safari. It's closed and it's not in service. Well, at least that's what I think. The car just pulled in, the American Safari. You can see that there's trees missing and it looks pretty run down. That's very, very sad. We have another hotel that's pretty run down. Boarded up windows. Decaying pool, rusted fence. There might be people investing in it. I don't know, but this is unfortunate. This is a really big town. Like I know there's many hotels that are still going strong and such like that, and I get it. But I mean, if there's gonna be still like millions of people or thousands, quite frankly, there should really be people investing in hot uh, motels like this and keeping them strong, unless if they want to, um, demolish them and use them for something else who knows this is just um it's just unfortunate how there can be a hotel and such running down without much success the boardwalk is now getting back into view so i'm gonna actually get to the convention center where the entrance is or maybe where the sign is and then i'll go from there so apparently like once i also get back home um i am going to try to truly stick to my diet since uh throughout most of or just about all of October and most of November going into December, um, I will probably try to stick to uh, true to my diet for then. <laughs> I'm sorry, stumbling. But I thought of something that, you know, if I lived here in Wildwood and, I, and if I lived right here in the boardwalk, I think this would be pretty fun, pretty good exercise. Walk along the boardwalk every single day. It's, you know, it's quite, you know, fun sightseeing. And it just really helps, just kind of like what I did walk back and forth every half hour or every, probably every hour on the boardwalk Th that would be pretty fun and that would be a pretty good way to exercise so yeah just sort of something like that. that that'd be pretty interesting pretty pretty nice way the days in and suites there's a you know there's a large branch of those hotels but you would think that like throughout wildwood you would just come across like, you know, rural hotels that are just like, you know, a one man stand thing and not like a big branch. But hey, you know, we have a big franchise motel right here in Wildwood, New Jersey. This is what living the life in Wildwood's like. French fries, pizza, cheese sauce, cheeseburger, roast pork sandwich, roast beef, I should say. Mmm. So I just came back from the candy shop. I decided I want to try the Superman flavor for the first time and it's really good. It also has Nerds, Rainbow Sprinkles in it. And all, the flavors mixed together is actually pretty good in here. So I'm gonna get one more type of ice cream with cookie dough, creams and cookie, uh, pecan, butter pecan and all that stuff. 
and then after that I'll probably wrap it up right there just for the for the day just until I get to the signee uh, or the autograph section for tonight so yeah so I'm gonna be taking my stuff back I got my went to the candy shop I got a bunch of stuff that I'll go over with you but I gotta make it quick because my ice cream is melting so yeah I got more ice cream as I said so that's probably basically all the food I'm going to get for tonight apart from what we'll get at the pier which I do believe is like a buffet of some sorts but other than that that's all the purchasing I'm going to be doing at this boardwalk for this weekend as the rest of the time I'm going to be going to that show and such and probably not get as much hopefully and save a little bit money for the gas for the drive home but anyways yeah I gotta go guys my ice cream's melting and I'll be back in just a minute so I needed some time to regain my energy so it is now uh around uh 4 30 kind of lost the track on time but i'm gonna go back to the golf place on the boardwalk and then i'm gonna wrap it up there before i head to the signatures but anyways here is the candy that i bought yeah it got quite a lot than i oh, a little bit more than i was expecting but here in this bag is just like a mashup of random candies we have, um, there was a couple of others that, uh, that caught my interest, but we have some Warhead, um, Warhead ropes that are filled with, like, some sort of liquid, uh, gummy burger, um, some ice pop, uh, or some lollipop that turns into gum, and juicy taff juicy taffies where you squirt and such like that, and sour gel, a gummy sandwich piece by piece, the gummy sandwich, I mean, look, Looks like a sandwich, and but you could just take it apart if you want to. Tropical Skittles, and this is interesting. Magic Potion. I think you you take these candies and you put them in there, and it explodes and all that, and then it turns into like some sort of mystery flavor. One uh, Big Reese's gummy eyeballs, which are like actual eyeball size. Some sourdough, and that's it. That's all the candy I bought, and and apart from like maybe getting a maybe a sandwich at the event and uh all that stuff that's all the food i'm going to be getting and got to be careful what else i buy and because i also got to be sure to get enough gas for my car on for the drive back and then that's actually going to wrap up at, long story but anyways that's all the candy that i bought and uh yeah so let's go mini golfing well this is what it looks like when you golf here in a dark I'm not going to be able to film any of this because I don't want to keep these people waiting. <laughs> but yeah, so it's going to be a good time, but I'll show you my scores. Be back later. Look at this, guys. As you see right here, even though it's pretty soaking out. Oh, God. Even though it's pretty soaked out, the amusement park is still open and going strong. Also, here's my scores from the golf. The golfing game, I got 32 points. It's, it is a little bit scribbled, but yeah, got 32. It did not so bad. So yeah, that's that for golf. Now I gotta get my stuff real quick. Hopefully this rain doesn't keep going on much longer. So I decided to drive here. Well, okay, I still had to park a little bit of ways away, not too far, but I decided to drive here mainly because like, you know, while it's not raining, well, it is, but it's just, you know, drizzling. I just decided to not walk mainly because like it was a higher risk of what I brought to sign this thing right here um, in risks of getting it soaked and ruined. So decided to drive and that's what we were doing. And they blocked off most about the this whole block right here just so um, they can get because like, you know, there's monster trucks parked out here and such like that. So I'm going to get this signed. I'll bring it back to my car and then maybe I'll stay away, stay around for a little while just so I can probably see what the party's all about. But yeah, so let's just hope that this drizzling can stop soon. But here we are. And right over there is be aware.
So, yeah, I got my poster and my shirt. So, it was not bad. A little different than what I was expecting. But, you know, I met the drivers that I was able to meet. Uh, if it wasn't raining right now, I could have been here for hours. But, yeah, I mean, it's not that it's really getting bad. But I just feel like uh, I can't really chill out in the rain right now. I don't, well, or more like I don't want to chill out in the rain all night. So, but, you know, we still have three shows this upcoming weekend. <laughs> So I'll be able to see the drivers even until then. So, but just right now, I'm going to go back to my car, probably chill around for a little while, and then we'll power through for this weekend. Just hopefully the rain doesn't come back. Look at this, it's changing in color. Let's see what this is all about. It's changed to an orange color and the candy is completely dissolved. Let's see what this is about. Mm. Some sort of tangerine flavor. Ooh. That sure is extreme. Well guys, that's actually gonna wrap it up for this mini vlog that I was able to film. Now, the rest of the time that I'm gonna be spending here in Wildwood is mainly gonna be at the monster truck shows and I'm not gonna really be doing much of the boardwalk anymore. But uh, yeah, so after, but I will let you know something about this real quick. So after the, well before I left the Crest or block part, uh, block party, whatever you call it, the pre-signing, pre-meeting, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually ran into President Perez and I met his wife and his son and uh, she was amazing. She was a great person and we talked about a lot of great things and she knows me from my YouTube career from when I was Lego fan, I was six and who I am and what I do now on YouTube and all that stuff and we even talked about the great stuff when Monster Jam was in its heyday and what's going on in the industry today and she was she was great and so um it was great talking to you and it was great meeting you and i hope we can get to see each other sometime soon talk a, talk a lot catch up and so we're actually gonna wrap it up with this pic with this selfie that i took of preston and his wife and his son and and you know shout out to them they were great people we talked about a lot of the great stuff and they were great so oh and uh it's 10 it's 10 p.m. now i actually just had to do some door dashing just to make up for the about just about half of the money that i spent on the boardwalk walk today but uh yeah but anyways guys thank you for watching this video and if you did enjoy it leave a like down below comment share and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys soon thank you for watching and it's great to be back here in wildwood